Hey guys, Amit here for Just EV, and today we are having a very detailed discussion about a company called as Simple Energy, who had officially unveiled their first electric scooter called the Simple One on August 15th. Well, if you have never heard about this electric scooter, Simple One has promised that it would be offering the longest range in an electric scooter all over the world and also offers the fastest scooter in India while it also features the largest battery on an electric scooter and it also offers you the largest boot space in the premium scooter segment. Well, these are just their promises, but then are these uh, are going to be a reality or not that we should be knowing in the coming days. But then company has come up with a lot of superlatives uh, during the event where they had not even uh, a production ready scooter ready. Now, in one of the recent interviews, the company's co-founder mentioned that the current range and the top speeds are tested on a pre-production scooter while they might be further better and you might expect better performance when the production ready scooter would be available. Now guys, these are just of a bunch of different promises the company has made. And again, I'm Amit, this is Just EV, where we talk about all the EV related content. And this is our English channel. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and stay subscribed with us for a daily video. Now, we definitely want this to become a reality, but when we have the hero backed Aether, Ola backed Ola scooter, why should you blindly trust a new startup? Yes, you can take a risk but then if you are someone who is uh, taking money on finance trying to buy their first electric scooter and thinking that for the next 10 years i would be using the same then this is something you should make a note of we are going to talk about a few points which are based on multiple different sources and we are wondering if this is a possible scam or a startup which is just here for the hype or just looking to get acquired by someone in by just promising a big sales future in short you just need to be cautious well let's uh, just wait and see how this turns out maybe in the next few months but apart from that there are a lot of confusions around the company so let's get started looking by deep digging on each of those points and seeing what the company has been promising and what actually they are going to offer now the company's uh, ceo who is suhas rajkumar on july 9th had uh, mentioned that the vehicle would be offering you the uh, speed of 0 to 40 kilometers per hour in 3.2 seconds but then that was promised just to make sure it's better than Aether 450X during the few months before. Now on the official website which went live just before the official announcement and the brochures which were handled to the media who attended the launch event the speeds for 0 to 40 was claimed to be 3.05 seconds now that's quite better when compared with 3.3 but then during the launch event on the stage, the company CEO promised that the speeds would be just 2.95 seconds. I mean, the numbers keep changing. In fact, a few hours later, the Simple One's launch, uh, Ola Electric had officially anyway launched their Ola S1 and S1 Pro with an accession time of just three seconds. Looks like Simple Energy just tweaked the numbers to make sure that they become the fastest over the competition. And that's just on the paper because in reality, both of these vehicles were not available to test out. So it was just what the companies were promising. And after the launch event, the company's uh, website was updated to show that the 0 to 40 km per hour acceleration time was 2.95 seconds. And the, according to the company, the beta version of the website going uh, went live and it came out with a lot of di different glitches. I mean, if there was a glitch, the numbers could have been just XX or maybe 10 seconds or 100 seconds. Why would it be exactly what they wanted to keep it? They also ke uh, kept tweaking the peak power output of the motor. While the website mentioned that the peak power output was 7 kilowatt, the company's CEO had announced it 8.5 kilowatt, which was more or less the same as what was announced by Ola in the S1 and the S1 Pro, at least on the spec sheet. Now the CEO of uh, Simple Energy even mentioned that the Simple One will have the largest boot space in the premium scooter segment. While in reality, it came with just 30 liters of under seat storage, while the Ola S1 and S1 Pro came with 36 liters storage space. Now you tell us which one has a larger boot space. Now talking about the dashboard, the seven inch dashboard on the Simple One electric scooter showcased in the launch event had a VIN number, which is vehicle identity number and a registration number of Aether 450X. Why would a Aether's number vis be visible on a new company's new brand new product? Well, of course, the company's CEO later said that's again a technical glitch but then we just hope that the scooter which was showcased there was not actually a Aether 450X with a redesigned exteriors. 
we are not even sure about what's going on between all of these things. But then again, there's another doubt which is coming for the website. The website which is simple energy.in was registered with the address wherein the state was mentioned under Mana Nicobar Island. Of course, we can just ignore this point because uh, maybe while registering the website, they might have selected the state as under Mana Nicobar, which probably shows on the number one in the drop down list and which is why it might have been selected. But then you could just fix it later on. Now, there's another scenario which is happening here, which is tweeting, deleting and repeating. Well, the company's CEO Twitter profile keeps promising a lot of stuff on Twitter. But then after some time, you would just see that the tweet has been deleted and uh, probably again, there would be announcement and they would be again later deleted. Now talking about the launch event, it was on August 15th. While following that on August 17th, the CEO had tweeted that, you know, we would be coming up with a different event wherein we would be showcasing more details about the scooter and answering all your user queries. And it was supposed to happen the next day, which is on August 18th, but then, it was again deleted and later they mentioned that they would be coming up with a new event which would be in the middle of September month and guess what that tweet was also deleted now we're just surprised that you know why can't the company's uh, spokesperson or even CEO think about it I mean what are their plans and then tweet about it because uh, the way these things are being done right now they definitely put a lot of questions on them now talking about the deliveries even for the Ola which he has already a uh, production ready scooter from its uh, equation the company mentioned to start deliveries from October 2021 which is just another one month later but for simple energy which is yet to have a factory or even a production ready scooter it might take at least a few months or maybe a year than what they are promising but then they are promising January 2022 as a date and we are just hopeful there on this point we are not judging them because they still have what four months to go maybe they would just set up a complete factory in the next four months assemble the whole scooter in the next four months and keep the vehicle ready for you guys in the next four months but then if that isn't going to happen guess what your friends would be driving an electric scooter from maybe Bajaj Chetak or Ether or you can say Ola Electric and you might just be waiting because you have just made the advance payment. Now the image of the factory which has been shared by the company looks more like a warehouse than a manufacturing facility and the facility is yet to commence the operations. Now let's talk about one more interesting point which is adding a lot of confusion. Well, when we recently heard about the news wherein Ola Electric was looking to raise some funds, the CEO of Simple Energy tweeted that they already had a load of, huge amount of money and the startup is not here just for raising funds. And guess what? A week later, the company announced that it's further fundraising plans and they are raising a Series A funding of hundred million dollars. Now that's quite surprising. I mean, why would you just comment on someone else's business and then end up doing the same thing? Now there's one more area, which is uh, probably uh, going to raise a lot of questions, which is cruise control. When, the, uh, when they were asked about the cruise control features, the CEO of the company gave a very weird answer. It's not exactly a cruise control. It's a mix of things, which is not really a very highlighting point for us. It's just a feature there it's not going to be a selling point to us something that i don't think customers would even use if there is or not if there is a need or not there i can't confirm because we are working on the ot update for that not sure if uh, we'll be involving that but we are just working on it. I, I just don't understand this point. The simple questions answer should have been yes, we have cruise control or no, we do not have cruise control. But these kind of answers just highlight that they are still not ready to actually launch a electric scooter. Now let's talk about patents. The company had also claimed that it had developed the powertrain and the braking systems in house and patented them. However, they have not been very transparent about this. And in fact, I missed in, informing you guys earlier that I have already approached them few times over email they did definitely read my emails but never decided to follow up or respond back and definitely you guys i mean if you guys from simple energy are watching our video you have our email address you could just share a copy of the patents and we would love to share it with our community because we at least searched them online and we couldn't find any patents related to simple energy now if you have watched the launch event also Overall, it doesn't really inspire us to uh, have the confidence to pre-book in the first place. But then we went ahead and have made the pre-booking just to make sure that we could share our thoughts about the vehicle and also keep you updated. And uh, finally, again, I just hope that Simple Energy doesn't become India's Nikola. So has uh, Rajkumar doesn't uh, become Trevor Milton of India, especially after I had seen what happened with the Freedom 251 smartphone in India. I just don't wish we see something similar on the EV segment or you can say the EV space in India. 
The simple one is available at a price point of 1.1 lakh rupee wherein you will have to just pre-order it right now at paying 1947 rupees and that would be completely on your own risk. We won't suggest you to do that because of all these questions and allegations who uh, which have to be answered. Of course, how much ever they offer in terms of a reasoning, I won't uh, agree that as of now because after deleting their own statements a bunch of times, I doubt that we would be easily trusting these kind of companies. But then maybe by 2020, if the vehicle becomes uh, reality and it's available for us to uh, you know, get the vehicle on the road, then we think that uh, Simple Energy would have overcome all the problems and has proved all of us wrong. Again, these were our thoughts, what we think about uh, the Simple Energy what is going on with the company and at least our personal thoughts about the same. If you think this video was useful to you, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, stay subscribed to Just TV and I'm Amit and hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.